Hello everyone, this is Malachi with GarageBand Tutorials. I'm going to show you today how to take a GarageBand file and compress it so it can be sent via email. This is going to be very simple and it's going to be a quick video. So let's say you have this, you have your GarageBand file. It's going to look something like this, be a little snapshot of the GarageBand program or application. You're going to highlight it, you're going to right click, you're going to click on compress and then it's going to have the title of the file in quotations. You're going to click on that, it's going to compress the file so it can be sent via email. This file is 175 megabytes so it's not going to be able to be sent simply by attaching it as an email. What you're going to have to actually do is you're going to have to either use Dropbox, OneDrive, or Google Drive, or WeTransfer. One of those type of hosting transferring files type programs. I prefer to use Dropbox, and I'm going to show you how. Okay, so... Okay, so here's how it works. Basically, what we do, now, now that we have compressed the file, as you can see here, that's the compressed file, and usually it would say zip, that's what it should say. You're gonna drag that in here into Dropbox until it turns green. It's gonna upload the file. Um, sometimes it takes 17 minutes. We're not gonna sit there and wait. We're gonna cancel it, but you're not gonna cancel it, you'll let it finish. Once it's done, I'm going to delete this shit. Once it's done, you're going to have something that looks like this in Dropbox. It'll say the title of the song and it'll say .zip. This is the GarageBand file. You'll have a link if you've shared it successfully. You may not have nothing here. When you're ready to share it, you want to hit share and you want to put the person's email address you know put a message there and hit send this is dropbox will send the actual link directly to the person's email if you don't want to do it that way you want to send it through like facebook chat text message or some other stuff you can take and copy the link boom go the dynamite there's the explosion i'm done the video is over that's how you do it if you have any questions feel free to send me an email comment below Congratulations, now you know how to send your GarageBand files via email.